Hello guys, Rob here. I am a software developer and I wanted to start a series where I walked through the Odin project and completed all the projects that the Odin project, the Odin project has. The Odin project is an open source coding bootcamp that takes you from not knowing any software or any programming at all and leading you all the way to becoming a front end developer or a full stack developer, depending on how far you take it. it has a lot of great tutorials it sources you out to a lot of great information and teaches you very well and i've heard great things about it so i wanted to go through the entire course and complete every single project that that the Odin project has um, they're probably somewhat difficult or they can get pretty difficult i imagine and trying to find resources and learn how to complete them can probably be pretty difficult so i wanted to yeah, just film and give a tutorial on each project and how I complete them. And hopefully that can be of some help to you. So what we're gonna do is I have the Odin project right here. We're gonna start the foundations course right here. And I'm not gonna go through each of these sections on in these, uh, yeah, these tutorial sections right here. We're just gonna go through each project and complete them. So first project that we have right here is called recipes so let's click on that and let's see so stuff about github i'm not going to go through github right here hopefully that they went over that and taught you how to do that um so yeah we're just going to go through to right here to the assignment and it says within this directory create an index file so right here in our command line we're gonna go mkdir and we're going to create a, let's call it Odin. Just call it this directory Odin. So let's go into Odin. Let's create a directory in here called Odin slash recipes. Let's go into that. We want uh, index.html. Okay. The really cool thing you could do from the command line is you could type code, period, press enter, and it will open Visual Studio Code right here. I'm just gonna put yes, I trust the authors. And if we notice right here, we have our index file. So a really cool shortcut in VS Code is if you press, if you put an exclamation point like that and press enter or tab, it'll fill out a lot of that boilerplate for you. So let's see fill out the boilerplate HTML, add an H1 heading Odin recipes to the body. So let's come over here. We're just gonna call the title. Let's change the title to Odin recipes. We're gonna make a div real quick called content. And in here we're gonna have the H1. This is going to be Odin recipes, just like that. We're gonna save that. Before we get too far, there's something I like to do in all of my projects. It's run an extension called Prettier. Um, there's a whole process on how to do that. If you guys want me to show you how I do it, I can. Otherwise, there's other tutorials on YouTube. But what we're going to do is dot Prettier RC. And we're going to just put an empty set of brackets like that. Save that. Um, once again, that's not going to work for you unless you have the extension enabled, which um, just is there's a few steps to get that going but what this allows us to do is it'll format our code for us so we notice like this doesn't look very good right okay next thing is create a new directory within this let's go here i'm gonna go mkdir name it recipes and then we're gonna go into that and Going to name it after our favorite dish. So let's see if we can find some inspiration here. Okay, I like this. Plant based black bean taco soup looks pretty good. So we're not going to name the whole file that, but so we'll just do taco soup like that. Then if we come back over here, you should see a recipes folder, taco soup. 
and we actually need to make sure we name this taco soup dot html center go into it exclamation point tab let's just rename a few of these things real quick black bean taco soup okay let's come over here include an h1 heading with the recipe's name as its content so come back we're in the body we're going to do div.content again it's going to be an h1 with black bean taco soup just like that save it and then there's also a really cool extension it's called live server i'd highly recommend it it's by ritwick day it's right here you install that what you can do is come down here to um actually i might be in the way I'm not sure but yeah down here in the bottom right there's something called go live you click on it and it'll open us up to here um if you'll notice however we're in taco soup we want to start out here we have to start the server from this from index click on it which takes us to index so back in the index file add a link to the recipe page we just created okay that just ties into what we were just about to do so we come over here we're going to put a which is stands for anchor it's an anchor tag and then it's going to ask us for a reference point to this file right here so that is within the recipes folder so we do that and then forward slash and then autofill is telling us taco soup and we're gonna type that in right here black bean taco soup actually we're gonna just go recipe for black bean taco soup save that if we come back over here you should see recipe for black bean taco soup if we click on that it'll take us to this page which we just created which is perfect okay the recipe page should have the following content an image under the h1 heading we could find the image if we google it or if we look on the recipe site under the image we should have a description followed by a paragraph describing the recipe ingredients with an unordered list okay, so we need an ingredients heading and the unordered list as well as steps and an ordered list so let's start with the image we're going to grab this image we're going to save it we're going to find we named it odin odin recipes we're going to make a new file right here by clicking this we call this images we're going to save it in here and this one is taco soup so if we come back here to taco soup we're going to go under this we're going to go div.section if you do in in vs code if you do div dot and then whatever you name it after this will make uh, that have a class name so um, I probably did that earlier with content so you can see now we have a div with a class of section and in here we're going to go an image so IMG press enter alternate we're going to do picture pick of black bean soup the source so you'll notice we are in this directory right now the image we want is in this directory so we need to go up a directory we do that by double period forward slash and then we grab images which is right here and then taco soup .jpg. so if we save that and now look over here you should see that if you'll notice however this picture is really big so let's make that a little bit smaller how we're going to do that is we're going to create a new file right here we're going to call it styles.css we're going to grab all images and we're going to set the height of 300 pixels and a width of 300 pixels. We're going to save that, come back over to Taco Soup. And right here, we're going to need a link to this styles.css. How we do that is we just type link. And this is going to say what we're looking for a style sheet, which is right here. And now we just need to direct us to that. So we do that again by double period forward slash styles.css save that and now if we come back to our web page you'll notice the picture is a lot smaller looks a lot better perfect 
Uh, next thing we needed is a description heading followed by a paragraph or two describing the recipe. So come back over here. We're gonna go under this. We're gonna get to do an H, let's do an H3. And description. And then we're going to do another div.section and we're gonna do a paragraph tag. So just repeat. I'm gonna come back over here. Let's see if there's a description on here we can steal. I think this is probably fine. I'm gonna copy that and paste it right here. Save it. It's a nice thing about Prettier as well is it condensed all of this down so it's a little bit more readable. Come over to here go to here we should see a description with our paragraph tag You'll notice however this paragraph tag is a little bit wide so let's come over to styles and let's grab all the key tags let's give them a width of let's do 600 pixels save that if we look back over here if we look back over here it should be a lot smaller a little bit easier to read perfect Next thing I think is ingredients. Ingredients heading with an unordered list of ingredients. Okay. So let's go under this div. This div goes with paragraph tag. We're going to do another H3. We call this ingredients. Then let's do another div dot section. Unordered list. So you type UL for your unordered list. We're going to need an LI tag for each ingredients on here so i'm just going to fast forward through this i'm just going to be copying and pasting these into um uh oh, I tag right here. Them. Come back over to our page right here, and you'll notice there's all our ingredients. Perfect. Okay, let's open this full screen again. Okay, the next thing we need are the steps. So let's come right here. We'll do another H3 tag steps. Another div dot section. It's going to have an ordered list. So OL. It's going to have an LI tag for each step. There's only two steps, so pretty easy. We're just gonna copy right here and one more. Save that. We look at our page now and it should have steps. Once again, however, don't like how wide this is. So let's come back to our style sheet and what we could do is that's an unordered list we could do unordered list with of 600 pixels as well this will work nothing wrong with that oh this is an ordered list so let's change that but come over here and you'll notice that this is a lot smaller however a little css trick is if you have several different things that have the same properties like these two are this identical, we could just do P and comma OL, and just make our ULs the same as well. And we can delete this. Save. Um, what happens when I auto save is prettier, just makes this look a little bit cleaner. Come over here, we get the same effect. Um, real quick, I'm not sure how much more is left. Okay, yeah, I'm going to uh, make this look a little bit better. I'm going to center all of the elements on this page, as well as change the background color to make it not this white color, make the fonts a little bit bigger. And yeah, we'll be doing, we'll probably use Flexbox 
as well as just a few other CSS things. So let's just make these guys like this so we can see what we're doing. Okay, let's grab all of our H1. I don't know if I have any H2s. But yeah, let's do display flex. We're gonna do justify content center. We'll do align item center as well. Save that. Notice all these guys jump to the center. We also have these things, sections right here. So if we add section to this, and how you add classes, you put period, section, like that. We save that and boom, everything centered. Let's also grab, we're gonna go to the very top up here. We're gonna grab the body. We're going to, uh, let's change the background color. I have a background color I like for simple projects like this. So let's do background color of RGB. First one's going to be 220, and then this one's 223, and this one's 241. We save that, as the background color is a lot better. Let's change the font size to 25 pixels. Made everything a little bit bigger. Let us also, let's add some margin. So let's do 50 pixels. Um, zero pixels, 100 pixels, 20 pixels. That I'll just space things out a little bit better. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, full screen. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see what's next. Add two more recipes and then link them and put the links in an unordered list. Okay, let's find two more recipes real quick. I'm just going to press control and then the back right here and I'll take you back and open a new tab at the same time. Okay, I like this guy. Well, let's find one more. Let's find a dessert. Find some brownies. How about? Hmm. That looks really good. Let's do marshmallow brownies. That looks pretty good. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these images. We're gonna save. And here we're gonna call this brownies. And this burrito, let's queue up. It's the only image we have. The problem with this image is it's not square it's more of a rectangle and how we have our images saved right now is there we make them a square so it's going to scale a little bit weird but i don't think that cares that matters too much totally my spell this right And we're gonna have to do the same thing. We're gonna grab the description and all the ingredients. So let's come back over to our code. Make this go. Okay, we have all of our images right here. Um, the other two that we're gonna make is gonna be very similar to this. So we're actually going to probably just copy a lot of the elements over. You gotta spell HTML right. That and the burrito, let's do brownies. Okay, so yeah, typically if you're doing this from scratch, you'd press like this and press enter. But we're actually not going to be doing that. Let's just copy this. Come over to burrito, paste, come over to brownies, paste. We're going to change the name of this to, what was the name? Right here. Title, Whoa. And then we're going to link to Rita. Sure. Uh, 
Burrito. We'll change all this in just a second. Let's do brownies real quick as well. I think these were marshmallow brownies. Copy this. That's right here. And then the images as well. We're gonna do two brownies. Picture of brownies. And let's come back over to index and let's make an anchor tag for all of these guys as well. So this one's going to go to go to burrito. And this one's going to go to brownies. So if we save that and go back over here, here's our project. So we go back, recipe for black bean taco soup, just for to refresh, breakfast burrito bake, and marshmallow brownies. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is let's add that style sheet to this as well. So the background is the same and this guy's the same. So go to index, we're going to go link. lowercase link uh, however this is in the same directory so we don't have to go up at all so it's just going to be styles.css like that Come back over and you'll notice it looks a lot different um, let's put these guys on their own lines real quick we'll just do how it told us to do it so let's go div dot section let's do an unordered list Realize okay, and each of these gets one of these ink tags in it. So let's just move these here. Okay, and then let's come back over. Now that looks a lot better. We click on it and it takes us to these now. Just gonna fast forward real quick and copy and paste the description and the ingredients over to our code. Okay, that one's done. Let's go over to brownings real quick. Okay, after you guys have gotten all of that, let's just make sure this all looks good. I think it does. Let's come back over here. It's full screen. Okay, black bean taco soup. Looks good. Slow cooker burrito bake. Okay. Looks great. And marshmallow brownies. Also looks great. Okay, one last thing that I feel like we're missing is a little button right here that'll take us back to the home page. Home page doesn't need anything because it has these links, but yeah, I think, I think if we had a button right here that said home, we would click on that. Um, I feel like this tutorial wants us to use HTML instead of, like I don't see any uh, instructions to use JavaScript. Normally I'd use some form of JavaScript to route us back. However, 
don't think that's going to be appropriate here. So we're going to use HTML to make a button right here that takes us back to the home page. So after we do that, I think we're done. Let's go back to our code then. Make it full screen. Okay, so we could just start on brownies. What we're gonna do is right here, let's do a div. We're gonna do an anchor tag in here and it's gonna take us up a level to index.html. It's gonna be called home. Just test that real quick. So it's on brownies. Click home. Click home, should take us home. Don't like how this looks. Uh, let's make it look like a button. So, cool. so if we come back to styles, let's grab. Actually, what we need to do is let's give this anchor tag class. Let's do class equals etn button over here. So we'll do dot etn. And then let's add a few styles to that. Um, I'm gonna make this like that. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. How do we wanna do this? So let's change the font size first. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Font size of 20 pixels. Let's do a width of, let's do 120 pixels. Let's do a height of 30 pixels. Uh, let's do display, display block. Um, let's do, let's get rid of the underline and the font color. So let's do text, decoration none. Let's do color. Just do black. That. Okay, it's looking better already. Let's do a background color. Let's do some sort of green. This looks green. It's a little bit too bright. Well, let's so let's modify it a little bit. Let's move it over here. Move it down a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's put a border around it. So let's do border of, let's, let's do a black border. Let's do one pixel solid. And let's make it so it's not square. So we'll do a border radius of five pixels. Okay, let's center the text. So we'll just do text align center. It doesn't look like it's vertically aligned. So let's do padding top of maybe six pixels. Looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we're just gonna copy and paste that this div then over to the other pages. Right here. And here, save that, save that, come over here, boom, looking pretty good, I like that. Okay, I think that's all it asks us to do. Okay, so yeah, what you would do from here is you'd upload it to your GitHub repository, and yeah, it looks like you could also paste or post your solution here. So if we look, <laughs> looks delicious. Ours looks very similar. I think ours looks better than this one. But yeah, it's pretty much identical project, what we've done. I don't know what this does, but yeah, there you go. You could add your solution. I'm not sure how you do that or not. And yeah, there you go. That one's done. Not too bad for the first one. Can't wait till we can start using JavaScript and we can get a little bit more creative with what we're doing. Uh, the next one, Flexbox, it's going to teach you how to do them with Flexbox. 
We already did that, so you guys are already ahead of the curve, it looks like. Uh, the next one's going to be landing page. Cool. I'm not going to look into this too much. Let's just see. Holy crap. Let's not look at that one. Cool. Yeah, just a little landing page like this. So this one will be fun as well to do. I don't know if there's going to be any JavaScript yet. I don't think JavaScript gets introduced until right here. This will be a fun one to do. Rock, paper, scissors. That's your sketch calculator. Yeah. So this is going to be this is going to be a fun set of projects right here that we're going to work on. Um, there might be like mini projects in here I can look at as well. I haven't actually read any of this, but that's probably something I should do as well. And I would highly recommend you do not go on to this project until you've done, you read all of these and done all of the tutorials that they ask you to do in here as well. But yeah, thanks for sticking that out with me guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like the video, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.